working on today, guys? This is Chuck's DIY. We're working on a new setup. A new setup so that we can actually use our BMSs on our JK BMS and also. Hey guys, sorry about the strobing. That's from the LED light. Don't really want that to happen, but not much I can do about it at the moment. So let's have a discussion. I've just received a Raspberry Pi 3. I actually got a Raspberry Pi 5, but the company does not support Raspberry Pi 5, which is Solar Assistant. So I'm gonna start using Solar Assistant as my interface between my GrowWatt inverters and my JK BMSs, which is going to be a lot easier. So we've got that. I'm going to put that together later. And I got this with a 5 volt, 3 amp uh, charging units. So they can go anywhere between 7 and 20, 20 volts. So I've got a 12 volt there already. So I'll just tap off my 12 volts and push it through this buck boost converter and switch it down to 5 volts off these. So that'll be handy for my board. All right, so that's pretty easy. Not sure what the price was on that, but everything's expensive at the moment. So suck it up and we'll keep moving. What have I got here? Well, I've got here a UART PL2303 chip inside there and wiring on the other end, which will go to this connector here, which is on the VE Direct current shunt, not a current clamp. I have got a current clamp, but that's the current shunt. All right, now, I did look at some other guy's video on doing this and he had a lot of the information there, but he didn't really explain it very well. So I'm going to explain. It's going to be a little bit more technical, but, and I know the, the diagram is not perfect, uh, but it is all I have at the moment. So what have we got? We have off, we've got our black wire hooked up. Now, we need our red wire, which is our receive wire from, is it, it's our receive wire from the actual Victron shunt. And it goes to the green wire, which is the transmit wire from the computer. So it sends information and I'll put, solder all this together later because I'm only showing this as a reference. Okay, that green wire goes to the red wire in this case, and that is talking across there back to the computer. And the white wire, which is the last one, goes to our blue wire, which is the one in. Do not hook up that green wire at all. Do not hook up the green wire. It's a 3.3 volt line. So we've got that going to there. We've got our white wire here and that'll hook up to the top there sorry that this the pins aren't long enough to do this okay so the white wire is hooked up to the blue wire now what happens there is you've got your receive wire which is the white wire and the information after it talks to sends a message to the red wire it says hello I would like some information about the shunt and it sends it back on the blue wire and it receives it on the white wire into the computer. So that is how you hook up your VE Direct to your USB and it is the simplest way to do it and the cheapest way to do it. That's what I'm trying to point here. This is the cheapest way to do it. Buying the cables online will cost you an arm and a leg as I've looked at. Now, the other thing is for the JK BMS, which I'm gonna move this all out of the way because it's gonna confuse everyone, except me, probably. 
Um, with the JK BMS, this isn't the JK BMS one, that's a spare one of those, which I've got. I've got two of those. That wasn't what I was looking for. You get hold of these here. So it's just, I'd say it's just, um, it's a two pin you've got on the back of it. I don't know whether you're gonna see this. Hopefully you do. It has D minus and, and D plus on the back. So on your D minus, you will have your white wire coming off the JK BMS uh, UART connector or RS232 connector, which hooks onto your BMS. That hooks onto the negative side, so the white wire, and the yellow wire will hook onto your D positive. So that's just your data coming backwards and forwards from the actual device. And yeah, you've got four, four wires up there which run power to this, just sends the data across to here, and this gets its own power from the computer, and it's hooked into the computer. Now, talking about this, really quick, hopefully. When you buy these, they come in a couple of different packaging. I've got a, it's only got two USB connectors. Actually, that's in better condition than the last one I got because the last one, the five, was bent, which I wasn't too impressed with. Anyway, all right. You'll need to get hold of something that has voltage controlled on it all right, so this one here is the one I picked, which is a, you can switch on and off. It is USB 3 high speed hub. Uh, they light up, which is a pain in the ass, but that's what you gotta do when you get things like that. You know, it's, anyway. You've got a control cable here with a USB connector, which is really handy, especially when yeah, you want five volts, one amp out of it. So you can just hook one off this to your hub. And the other one off this can go directly to your power on here, which is that, that one there. You can hook it onto there. So just a standard cable, which is, uh, I think it's the uh, Android type cable. It's the latest one. So you need that and you'll need a card, which I haven't got yet, but I'll be getting one. This comes with a Wi-Fi connector, but they suggest using your RS-232, or not the RS-232, uh, the NIC connector. So yeah, so other than that, I bought a box to go with it. So hopefully I'll write down all the parts that you need to make your system more robust and user-friendly to use. And hopefully this will clear up a lot of my problems with my solar, which I will show later or maybe earlier what happened. And this is bulletproofing my system. I will now put the, I've got these ones. You can actually get a full cover and heat sink, but I didn't think I needed that. I might need it in the end, but anyway. All good. Now, they didn't leave any instructions on which ones they need to be covered, which is a bit of pain in the ass. But anyway, what are you meant to do? Not much. Anyway, that'll go there. I'm gonna expect that the memory's gonna have to have some cooling which are these two, and one for this little one here, hopefully, and that'll be it. So, what do you think? That's it for this uh, quick tutorial on how to set up for solar assistance. Solar assistance about $70, well, $70 for Australian. For me, I ordered directly from um, this site in African, South African money and bypassed using the American dollar. I'm sorry if you're American, but I had to bypass it so I could afford it because like at the moment, things are not cheap. And of course, that's not gonna come off easy.
is it? It's only double sided tape. What the hell are they doing? They've given me double sided tape. I don't know who these people think they are, but they don't know anything about heat transfer. That's not going to last 10 seconds. So I'm going to have to have a word to them about using double sided tape, which is absolutely stupid. They have no idea what they are doing. I will get some heat paste and put it on there or something that's glueable that will transfer the heat not some tape that's going to just have these fall off at any time during the use so i don't know anyone else got any any bright ideas interesting stories please leave them in the comments uh yes i don't know whether that goes on there Mm, yeah, well, it's going to go on there. It's on there now. These ones, I'm not 100% sure. I might have some double um, heat sink stuff hanging around here somewhere. Probably have. Got some stuff. Oh, look. Deep cool. Find all kinds of stuff around here. Um, I'll pop that on there. And that'll be the end of this. So... Hopefully, you guys got something out of it. Uh, I will show you installing the software, but I don't think that means much to you guys. Uh, if you need help, give me a yell. And this stuff can also connect up to Home Assistant, which I've got at the house, so I'll be able to use that. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.